Mamie's Story of Red Riding Hood Why, one time was a little weenty girl, and she was named Red Riding Hood, cause her, her ma, she made the little red cloak for her, that turned up over her head, and it is all is one piece of red cardinal, that's like the great long stockings the storekeepers has. Oh, it is prettiest cloak in all the world, and all this town or anywhere's they is. And so one day, her ma she put it on Red Riding Hood. She did one day she did, and it is Sunday, cause the little cloak it is too nice to wear us every day and all the time. And so her ma she put it on Red Riding Hood, and told her not to dip no dirt on it, nor did it must nor nothing. And and then her ma she got her little basket out, at old Chris bringed her once. One time he did. And then she fill it full of whole lots and abundance of good things to eat. All as my grandma, she says, abundance too. And so her ma filled little Red Riding Hood's nice basket, all as full of good things to eat, and tell her to take him to her old grandma, and not to spill him neither. Cause if she had stump her toe and spill him, her grandma she'll have to punish her. And then. And so little Red Riding Hood, she promised she had be all careful then, and cross her heart that she won't run and spill them all for six, five, ten, two hundred bushel dollars gold. And then she kissed her ma goodbye, and went a skipping off, away for off through the big woods, where her drama she live at. No, nope, she don't do a skipping like I said. She has to went walking. Careful like and slow is like a little lady walking long as all polite and nice and slow and straight and turn her toes is like she's marching in the Sunday school concession. And and so she has doing along and doing along on through the great big woods cause her grandma she lived way, way far off through the big woods from her ma's house. So when Red Riding Hood did the dough there, she always had most fun when she dove through the great big woods, you know, cause she ain't feared a bit of anything. And so she sees a little hopty birds that's in the trees and flying all around, a singing glad as if their parents said they'd take them to the Magic Lantern Show. And she had pulled the pretty flowers and things and growing around the stumps. And she had catch the pretty butterflies and grasshoppers and stick pins through them. No, I have said that. Cause she's too good and kind and obedient to hurt things that way. She catch them though and just play with them just a little while. And then she let them fly away she would. And they skip on then to her dramas. And so while she is doing long and long. First thing you know, they was a great big old mean wicked wolf jumped out at and wanted to eat her up. But that's not too, cause right close there, they was a man a chopping wood and you could hear him. So the old wolf he has feared only to just be kind to her. So he has tended like he has good friends to her and says, Good morning, little Red Riding Hood. All is as kind. And then Riding Hood, she said, Good morning to all kind and nice. It's like her ma, she learned, no, mustn't say learn, cause learn is unproper. So she say it like her ma, she teached her. And so she is says, Good morning to the wolf. Cause she don't know it tall and he's a wicked wolf and want to eat her up. Then old wolf smile and say so kind, where are you doing at? Then little red riding hood she said, I'm doing to my dramas cause my ma said I might. Then when she tell him that, the old wolf he is turning light out through the great thick woods where she can't see him anymore. And so she think he's went to his house but he ain't. He went to her grandma's to be there first and catch her if she don't watch mighty sharp what she's about. 
and then when the old wolf get to her grandma's house, he's pretty smart, and so he tin like he's Red Riding Hood, and knock at the door. And Riding Hood's grandma, she's sick in bed and can't come to the door and open it. So the old wolf knocked two times, and then Red Riding Hood's grandma, she says, Who's there? She says. And old wolf tin like he's little Red Riding Hood, you know, and make his voice sound is like hers. It says, It's me, Grandma, and I'm Red Riding Hood, and I'm just come to see you. And then her old grandma, she think it is little Red Riding Hood, so she says, Well, come in then and make yourself at home, she says. Cause I'm down sick in bed and got neuralgia so as I can't get up and that you yet. And so the old wolf is marching in and shut the door then and drowl he did and splunge up on the bed and end up old Miss Riding Hood for she could put her specs on and see who it was. And so she never knowed who had her up. And then the wicked wolf he has put on her nightcap and all covered up in bed like he has her, you know. Then pretty soon, here come along little Red Riding Hood, and she knock at the door, and old Wolf Tin like he's her drama, and he say, who's there? It's like her drama, say, you know. And so little Red Riding Hood, she said, it's me, drama, and I'm Red Riding Hood, and I'm is come to see you. And then old Wolf Tin, he cough. <laughs> and say, well, come in then and make yourself at home, he says, cause I'm down sick in bed and got neuralgia so as I can't get up and let you in. And so she think it's her grandma talking. So she has to open the door and come in and set down her basket and take off her things and bring the chair and clumped up on the bed right by the old big wolf she thinks is her grandma. Only she thinks the old wolf's got whole lots more bigger ears and lots more whiskers, too, than her drama. And so Red Riding Hood, she's kind of scared a little. So she says, Oh, drama, what big eyes you got. And then the old wolf says, There is big that away, because I'm so glad to see you. Then she says, Oh, drama, what a great big nose you got. And then the old wolf says, It's as big that away, cause I smell the good things that you bring to me in the basket. And then Riding Hood, she said, Oh me, oh my Dremel, what big, wide, long, sharp teeth you got. And then the old wolf says, Yes, and there that away, and growled. There that away, he says to eat your wife. And then he is jumping her. But she scream and scream, she did. So is that the man that was a chopping wood, you know? He here and come running in there with his axe. And for the old wolf know what he's about, he spit his old brains out and killed him so quick and make his head swim. And Red Riding Hood, she hasn't heard it all. And the big man, he took her all safe home, he did. And tell her ma she's all right and ain't hurt at all. And old wolf's dead and killed and everything. So her ma is so tickled and so proud. She gives him all the good things to eat they was that's in the basket. And she tell him that she's much obliged and say to call it then. And story's almost truth and all so too.